Hey guys, it's Brandon Miniman from PocketNow.com. We're here at CES 2013, and we've come across some truly interesting design with Android hardware from a company you've never heard of probably called Noitavani. Let's take a look at what they have. Now the reason we're showing you this is because seldom do we see any difference in design in Android hardware. It's always just about the same. These are just dummy prototype devices that will hopefully be available later this year as unlike devices maybe at Radio Shack, Best Buy, it's really not determined yet. But what I just want to show you is the design. Look how sweet this is. The orange, the really hard edge here. Just a really beautifully designed phone that's truly different. And the edges feel so good in the hand. It's just, it's it's a really compelling device. So they've got the phone here. Uh, a lot of plastic down here. Interest, I'll be interested to see how that turns out with the production model. Then we've got a kind of 10-inch model here, kind of like a Nexus 10. We have that same design language all around the device with this beautiful orange strip and this nice chrome accent. And you can just wrap your fingers around it and it feels like a nice, cohesive thing. And for those of you that like the Nexus 7, a smaller form factor, we've got a smaller tablet here, again, carrying over the same design language as these other products. Just this really nice edge, white design, really cool stuff. Uh, it's cool to see innovation in design. So again, the company is called Noitavani, and uh, if they start selling these anytime soon, I'm probably going to buy some, and uh, you'll, you'll see the review on, on Pocket Now. Hey guys, it's Michael with PocketNow.com. Getting ready to leave the uh, exhibition hall for the day at CES 2013 in Las Vegas here, but we stopped at a company that I'm trying to pronounce really, really, really hard. And Noit Tavanya. It's close. All right, good. And uh, I think they're going to come to market with a brand name Noit. We, we kind of don't know, but uh, Brandon Miniman has shown us some of their concept designs. This is actually a, a working device. Uh, this has, what is this called? Does this this is, is part of our recon series. We haven't actually named the actual device for the market as of yet. Okay, phone is not named. I'm here with Herschel from Noit. Correct. And uh, this is a rugged device. This actually was the first thing that caught my eye. Uh, if you've been a long time watcher, you know that I like phones that you can beat up and take on adventures. And this boasts right on its uh, casing here. I mean, this is IP68. Correct. Fully immersible in water for probably, what, an hour, a half hour, or something Correct. like that in a meter. Correct. And it's military standard 810G compliant, which usually includes things like blowing rain, humidity, Correct. salt, Correct. fog. Correct. Uh, this is an 8 megapixel camera hiding behind a very beefy gasket there. What is that, a 100 decibel speakerphone ever? Correct. <laughs> <laughs> it says 100 dB. It does. And it has a 20 to 25 foot drop capacity. With 20 to 25 feet drop. I'm not going to do it because it'll break the glass. I'll do it for you. Oh, thank you. I appreciate it. Nice. Can we do that again? You want to do it right now? Yeah, do, do it from a higher. Please. Yes. And we've Michael's still got, excited. I am very excited, very we've still got Android, uh, this is ICS here, but it is still running just fine with some interesting software customizations, I'm sure none of this is quite final, but uh, this is just, it's just wonderful to get our hands on something truly different, as Brandon said in the other video. So we're going to keep an eye on, on Noit uh, in the days, weeks, and months ahead, and you should keep an eye on Pocket Now for the same period as we continue covering CES and really interesting stuff. And guys, thank you very much.